All right. Um, uh, first of all, congratulations if you follow the course from the very beginning up to this time. A big congratulations to you. So, uh, I uh, just doing this video after a while. Now, if you faithfully, if you have faithfully been following the course, um, I think you're 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 matured enough to take this kind of video. This video is going to be very controversial. Not because I want to spark any war, but but because you know, for you to have gotten to this level of the video, that means you're you're ripe to hear these kind of things. Now, in the crypto space, I don't want to make this video too long. In the crypto space, I want to try to see if I can talk fast. In the crypto space, there are two sets of people: is Bitcoin maximalists and the altcoin. They don't call themselves maximalists, but I, I think they they should be called altcoin maximalists. Uh, so um these guys I, i'm saying this thing because i'm doing this video because you guys will definitely meet them as long as you're into cryptocurrency and bitcoin is here life you're going to meet this set of people so it's better i get you so you guys prepared and let you guys know um what you need to know so bitcoin maximalist uh, i think i got a, a nice definition here from this guy uh, top 10 bitcoin maximalist tweets of all time so bitcoin maximalism so well, let's just guess his own definition according to him bitcoin maximalists are hardcore bitcoin only believers who don't believe in alternative use case of any other cryptocurrency like ethereum litecoin etc other than bitcoin the underlying principle is that they don't believe any other cryptocurrency is worthwhile that's the keyword they're worthwhile and i don't quite believe that because you know uh in this kind of technological world things are always changing right so how would you think that the first invention of cryptocurrency with this bitcoin will be the best well i don't believe that now those who know me in cryptocurrency right from 2016 i, I think back then in 2016 everybody was calling me sammy bitcoin sammy bitcoin because the only thing i knew then was bitcoin right so um but the way i was trained the way i was brought up uh, i was brought up to to be open-minded to you know to things right that uh, you read left you read right compare the two and see which one is better right um so that's that's the way i've been all my life you know i'm always you know researching the, um, trying to improve on what i know before so in my course of research i got to know about ethereum ethereum is ethereum to me is the father of dApps. uh I, I got to know about eos i got to know about steam bts tron cardano and the rest so I'm not uh, a maximalist to any coin, not Steam, not EOS, not Tron, not any. I'm open-minded to technology. Yes, I have favorites, my favorite um, blockchain technology. But that doesn't mean I will not become, I will not be close-minded to that um, technology alone. So with that being said, we now understand what Bitcoin maximalists are. They believe that other cryptocurrencies are useless. But now, why do you need this course? It's to help you understand Bitcoin also now uh one of the one of the one of the things that bitcoin maximalists they bring out is they said bitcoin is more decentralized now there are so many points that i can bring out but i'll bring out just one point today once to know about the rest you join my cryptocurrency group we'll talk about um, other points that makes their their um their narrative wrong so uh, let's pull up some data and i don't want this video to be too long so because of such topics someone asks a question dpos versus others decentralization of block blockchain so which validators are more decentralized so it's because of this kind of topics that bitcoin is more decentralized that's why people have to start bringing up this kind of graphs right and so this is not it now note this is not a defense for other blockchains like ethereum eos tron and the rest and also not a, a hate speech for bitcoin but this is just me trying to share knowledge so you don't 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 take what i say as final answer look at what i've said and if i'm wrong now feel free feel, feel free to to correct me right because we are learning in this space and if you feel i'm correct don't take my answers as as final also do your own research maybe my my correct answer might not be good enough you see you might have something better or if i'm wrong you can you can also you know correct me let's let's share knowledge so with that being said someone brought out this graph now one of the one of the ways to tell decentralization is now what's first of all what's what's blockchain blockchain enables you to share uh the information of, of a transaction or several transactions across the world now these informations that are that are shared across the world they are stored in 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 what is called a node right so 
now on the bitcoin network this is their their, their top 12 um nodes for me to call them nodes but, but they are called mining pools so these are the top 12 so as you can see they are not evenly distributed this has this guy has more say than this guy 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 it keeps going down so the power here is not evenly distributed so therefore it is not perfectly decentralized the same thing here the same thing here this one is is it is is fair this one this one is very fair this one is this one is a bit fair because of this 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 um this part here right um so looking at this graph alone we can tell that this guy is not really decentralized as they say it is but hey let's don't don't do don't just crucify me yet let's let's find out let's dig deep into this because these are those pictures let's let's go and check live feeds so if we go to um, blockchain.com slash pools pools is spelled p double o l s then you get you scroll down you see uh this uh this stuff we just saw here this stuff so it's actually live here where is it again where is it again so as you can see it's not evenly distributed one two three four these four guys control over 54 percent of bitcoin mining pool that is not decentralization okay so there are 12 of them so because of that let's go and write graduating that there are 12 of them only so let's compare it with other cryptocurrencies uh we would have used bitches but bitches is old-fashioned would have used steam but there's a better version of steam aos and tron and even cardano ethereum they are Okay, let's not use Ethereum because Ethereum is not perfectly distributed. Two mining pools own 50% of this, all right? So that is not perfect. So we're going to use either Steam, BTS, or, or EOS, or Tron. But let's go to Blocktivity to see the one we could choose. So EOS is occupying for, for the first position. Now, I don't need to e explain what Blocktivity is. If you've been following the course from the very beginning, you should know what Blocktivity is. So we're going to choose EOS. So back to our drawing board. So we have... Uh, EOS represented as E, Bitcoin represented as B. So we've, we've concluded or we've seen that Bitcoin has 12 top guys, right? Now, uh, I don't know why I'm, I know the reason why I'm using 12 top guys. So EOS has, uh, let's go and find out for EOS how many top guys that EOS have. The best place to check that is on block um, is on blocks.io, B L O K S.io. So it's already written here that Bitcoin has top 21 guys. So uh, it's very clear. So they have 21 top guys. So let's check the description. So there are 21 top top guys and there are 12 top guys. Now, use a description which is more decentralized, which is more distributed. Obviously, these guys are more distributed. Hey, don't eat me raw. <laughs> Whenever I say something like this, the Bitcoin guys will be like, hey, there are, there are thousands of mining pools. Yes, it's true. It's absolutely true. So there are over 9,000 mining pools, public nodes, uh, rather, that are running on the Bitcoin network. So let me explain what this means. You might not know the difference between mining pools and uh and these other guys so the way it works is this these guys are the top 12. i'm slowing down so you guys understand the same these are the top 12 that are representing the network why these nine thousand people are distributing their power to these guys you see so this guy has 90 percent of this 9000 this guy has um 13 percent of this 9300 that's exactly how it works so we'll go back there sorry we'll go back here and add for bitcoin sorry about that we have i just made it 9500 because another website says uh 9004 so let's give it a, a plus round figure of 9005 so there are what there are 12 top guys mm -hmm. and over 9500 people contributing their power to the 12 top guys now let's let's check eos eos we've already seen that there are 21 top guys Abby? so there are 21 top guys and also let's notice something that immediately after this 21 top guys there are others you see they are standby so because they are standby you know what standby is standby is someone that is standing just in case something goes wrong they fill in so the top so this guy can become a top guy any minute 
because as you can see this thing it has changed already right before our eyes this thing will change in less than 10 seconds so it has already changed so that means as you can see there's plus there's a uh, minus here this guy has lost some votes this, this guy has gained some votes so this twin this top 21 can get replaced within three seconds so it will not be fair as you can see this guy just got one 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 position higher one position higher so it is not fair to say these guys are 21 alone so that's why i wrote i wrote here 21 plus 100 but the truth is are they really 21 plus 100 standby so as you can see the page here goes up to six so that would be 106 but it's not fair to do that because who knows if those ones are active so let's work with the first page only so let's say 100 minus 21 that's all we have because their standby is here so it's just be fair to be fair to give them a hundred plus 21 so going by that distribution which is more decentralized obviously this guy wins right eos wins sorry for stopping that now uh remember this guy we, we said okay now 9500 nodes are contributing their mining power to the top 12 now let's find out what's the case for eos now the case for eos is right here now in eos the number of people contributing their power in uh, the way they contribute power in eos is called voting right so the number of people contributing their power to this top 21 are how many 64,000. so we take our 64,000 accounts uh and put right here so between 64,000 and 95, which one is more decentralized? This one, obviously. Between 12,000 and 21, let's assume this one is not there. Which one is more decentralized? Obviously this one. You see? So, um, these are, you know, this these are this uh this is just one of the there's there are so many other points i would have brought up but i don't want this video to be, be too long and i'm if you have questions you want to know other reasons why bitcoin is not as perfectly decentralized as the claim it is you may prefer personally in my cryptocurrency group called polynex or us innovation group and i'm gonna uh try to explain to you that is if i have the time but definitely i i can use voice notes to explain that to you and also now don't get me wrong this is not me trying to try to uh, make bitcoin look back here i'm a bit i'm a big bitcoin fan right uh, bitcoin is very secure i'm not trying to say it's not secure as a matter of fact if you go to 51 percent uh crypto 51 point dot app right you see how 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 uh how difficult it is to 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 um to hack the bitcoin network to perform a 51 percent attack on the bitcoin network it's actually very expensive if over eight hundred thousand dollars to 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 harm the bitcoin network in one hour so bitcoin is actually decentralized right it's actually difficult to have hack but the point i'm trying to make is that it is not as decentralized as they claim it is because you know other platforms are decentralized now some might say ah if that is so how come bitcoin has uh more 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 gains and controls the markets well that is what we call first mover advantage bitcoin came into this space uh, 10 years ago and ethereum and the rest are not up to 10 years so bitcoin is is a widely known cryptocurrency right so um in case you want to know other points uh, what why 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 uh, bitcoin is not really as decentralized as they say it is now i'm not saying it's not decentralized it's decentralized but it's not as decentralized as they claim it is there are other points but because of this course i'm going to stop here because i don't want it to be too long if you have any questions just reach out to me and i'll be glad to help